Three years ago, when we found Thunder Canyon, <laughs> we set in motion what was to be our life's mission. Mm -hmm. We made a video before we had even stepped foot <laughs> on Thunder Canyon, outlining what we wanted this community to be and why we were doing this. Little did we know the power of our words. Everything came true. When you really, truly trust God, anything is possible. Guys, we came across a video. We don't normally go back and look at our videos from the past. We don't have time. But we went back and we looked at an old video of right before we had, when we had just purchased Thunder Canyon, we hadn't gotten here yet. And we want to share that video with you. We want we want to, we want to replay it. Well, and you guys could probably relate. Have you ever looked in an archive and seen something that belonged to you years prior? And you look at this little, I don't know, relic. Like an old note from a girlfriend. I, yeah. Or... And you look at it and you get chills. It's like a moment, a reflective moment, because you realize that it came true or you see how far you've come. It's one of those here and then then you and now moment brings you right back to that moment where you actually remember everything about it. And yet, you know, did you really truly believe it come true? Who knew? And at that time we had no idea, but we put our faith in God and we set out on this adventure and it's turned into our life's mission. Now we're going to run through this video with you guys. It's wild guys. Stay till <laughs> the end because it gets more wild as it goes. Comment below. Did, were you a believer? When we first set this out there, there were thousands of neg naysayers and negative people saying you are going to fall on your face you guys are dreaming this can never happen that's right are you one of them holy hole in a donut batman we're buying a campground Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. And long story short, we sold most of our possessions in pursuit of freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, you guys. Okay. So, okay, I'm already having a moment <laughs> because I was a lot more tan. <laughs> and I was 80 pounds heavier. And I was 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> I think I'm more ruggedly handsome now. Absolutely. <laughs> but we really want to hear what you guys think, you yeah. know? When you really, truly set an intention and you pray, trust God, and you're obedient as you can be, can dreams truly come true? That's right. Here we go. Holy moly. And we are in quite the adventure. So we got to <laughs> tell you the story and the way this has all been unfolding. Because you guys know we've been talking about land and what we're looking for. And it's really been a journey to finding this piece of property. And, and we want to share with you guys our vision. And we also really want to share with you guys, if you're interested in like, I don't know, having a spot to park your RV, like what that looks like. As you guys know, the camping industry is exploding. There's 1.1 million new RVers coming in this year. And, and like only 40,000 new campsites or something. Yeah. I, I read it somewhere in like RV Park Association, Owners Association. It was just a ridiculously low number in comparison to who's coming in yeah and we, being that we have the rv odd squad we get emails all the time of people that can't find campgrounds there's no vacancy and we feel a responsibility to stay out of the parks because we know they're overflowing and we can afford to find we new can places. afford to find yeah. other places so we kind of stay out of those parks to let the the newbie rvers and people that trusted us enough to buy a membership give them the space and not take up the space. Yeah. As you guys may know, we launched a video about a month ago called RV Land. Yeah. And that whole process was eye-opening because mm -hmm. developing raw land into a campground can take three, four years with regulations, <laughs> zonings. We were blown away by how much work actually needs to be done to open a campground. Stop it so right then there. We started so did we really know how much work it was gonna be? <laughs> We had no idea. No, but you said in that it took. I said three or four years to actually make this happen. The truth is, I thought it would be a lot easier than it was. Guys, this has been the adventure of our lives, and it has really taken a toll on us. One of the blessings is the thousands of people who have come to visit us here at Thunder Canyon help us build it. And one of the curses is some of the people that came to visit us at Thunder Canyon that said they were trying to help us build it. Yeah, that's very true. But it was almost like, did we know it was going to take that long? Because I didn't. And I feel like it should be done already. Yeah. You know, it never happens fast enough. Well, there's always so much excitement. You can see the excitement in our faces in this video about how blessed we are and how grateful we are to have this opportunity. But 
looking back and seeing me say right there that it will take three to four years is amazing because we're at three years, three months right now. And our dreams are truly coming through at Thunder Canyon. Yeah, but it really does take a long time. <laughs> available in the United States. I've been watching all the campgrounds, all the raw land all over the United States. And interestingly enough, the next day after we created the video, the first video for buying RV land, a new place came available on Zillow the very next day. So I started looking at it and it was a campground that had opened in 1970, which we got a little bit of background to that, which is interesting. But it closed about three years ago because it was an older couple that couldn't, they just couldn't keep up with the improvements, with the, the maintenance of the park. So that, And they got older and so they ended up letting the campground somewhat die. And so we've got this beautiful place called Thunder Canyon that we found and we started actually doing research. Now I am extremely obsessive and I've been on this project for two weeks now. You may notice that my voice, I sound a little sick. It's because I've been talking on the phone and going crazy, trying to figure out how we can make this work. We can't do this by ourselves. Yeah, but here's what we found and here's what's so special about it. Because the, the raw land is gonna take like forever to develop, right? Existing RV parks are like only millions of dollars, right? <laughs> That's it. And, and, and you know, we don't have millions of dollars, although I, I really believe that one day we will, but what's we, we really, don't. What's funny is a lot of you guys think we're rich YouTubers. We're yeah. not. Yeah. We don't have $750,000 to buy a- You got something to say? I got something else to say. <laughs> okay. Number one, have you guys listened to his, doesn't he sound more Bostonian three years ago than now? <laughs> like- the, It's the South. <laughs> The South lost. has changed me, y'all. The, the South has really changed him. <laughs> and then um, when we're talking about, but we need help, like we knew then, but we didn't know. Does well, that make sense? Kind of. I knew. We we were honest, and it's coming up in this video, I believe, that we tell you we cannot do this by ourselves. We didn't have $750,000. Mm -hmm. The dream was that we were going to be able to bring in our Odd Squad members, those people who had loved us, supported us, prayed for us along the way. Our, our members, our our, um, our subscribers, we thought that maybe we get a bunch of families together and we could do this together. And yeah. that's absolutely how it came to be. We have not hired one person at Thunder Canyon. Everybody has come and volunteered their time, their sweat, their labor, and their treasure. And it's turned out to be an absolutely beautiful place to stay. That's this amazing. place feels like a 1970s campground. It does. And and to be quite frank, we've been praying throughout this entire process. Every morning and every day, we've been praying on this campground. And we really, truly believe that we're being led. A lot of you guys don't know that when we started this YouTube channel, we thought we were just going to make a few extra bucks on the road, right? Pay our gas money. Pay our gas money, <laughs> pay our campsites. We never imagined that it would have turned into this. And, yeah. and now we actually feel a responsibility to the RV Odd Squad, the community that we built. We think it's the best community out there mercedes and i feel a responsibility to our viewers mm -hmm. to you know to, to to make a change things are absolutely upside down in our country right now mm -hmm. and i remember a time back in the 70s when i was a cub scout and then when i was a boy scout right it was just different times campgrounds used to feel a lot different then than they do now yeah apparently the dirty dancing days were like real <laughs> nobody puts baby in the corner <laughs> it's true. Campground used to be a place of, you know, families and unity and, and doing plays and having events for the kids and, and activities. Lots of activities <laughs> to do, right? And then they still do some of that at Yogi Bear camp Campgrounds, which and some we just, of them. Yeah, it's actually Sage's new favorite campground. We want to be part of a community that has certain values, right? People Judeo that believe. Christian values. Yeah, GDO, Judy. <laughs> Judeo. <laughs> what she said. Okay, just everything is kind of messed up right now, and we would love to be part of the solution, <laughs> not part of the problem. These are things that I've been thinking about for months. What does it mean to be an RV Odd Squad member? And I think because we're so authentic and real, I think we've attracted the same type of people that think a lot like we do, that, that have the same type of values that we have. And that led me down the hole into the Boy Scout promise, duty to God and country, duty to other people. Duty to self. I used to remember all these. I actually had to remember all these things to become a Boy Scout. The Boy Scout motto, the Boy Scout law, and most importantly, when it comes to camping, the outdoor code. These are all things that are, were built by what we used to be an amazing institution in America. You'd be blown away by how many presidents and leaders of Fortune 500 companies were Boy Scouts. 
You know, did you know that Martin Luther King was a Boy Scout? Did you know that Colin Powell was a Boy Scout? It's sad what's happening to the Boy Scouts of America. It's another great institution that's slowly dying and maybe we have an opportunity to bring it back. I want to bring these principles back to the RV Odd Squad and be part of the solution. And don't worry, ladies. This isn't a boys only kind of thing. Masculinity is having like a crisis right now, what with man buns and all it these is. crazy things. But this is more about like principles in general and about if things really do go sideways or more sideways than they already are and things really hit the fan, who are your neighbors gonna be? Right. And I think what really excites me about this campground specifically is that because it had been closed the last three years, does it need TLC? Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, but What's really exciting is that there's a lot of land included. There are a lot of options. And for that reason, John and I are kind of taking all of our plans and throwing them out the window. And in like two days, we're gonna be in Alabama so that we can look at this land in person. We got 10 person. days to do our due diligence on this land. We both were shocked when it got accepted. We threw an offer out there. There, there were, were other offers. There were other offers, but we did write a note to the owners letting them know what our what we Idea wanted to was. do with it, what are the principles. So the first thing I figured out after about a month of research is that we wanted to buy a campground in the Red Sea, guys. Um, Shocker! Alabama is one of the last great states where you can actually have freedom to do what you want with your land. So we threw this offer out on a wing and a prayer, guys. Yeah. And multiple bids. Multiple offers, and we really didn't think we had a shot because yeah. we couldn't prove the funds right away. Yeah. And so we threw our offer out there and we prayed to God, and if it was God's will, it would be done, right? And that's kind of the way our <laughs> whole adventure has been. We trust that God is gonna put the right people in our lives at the right moment and the right opportunities. And then we do what we can to help as many people as we can. So we had to wait two days. It was excruciating. We got a phone call saying that we had won the bidding process. And so they had accepted our offer. We were in shock. And at that point, Mercedes was happy and scared. And I was exhilarated and terrified because now we knew what we were looking at. And what we were looking at is that we gotta get our butts out to Alabama and do our due diligence to find out if this thing is really viable. How messed up is this place? What's it gonna cost to get it open? Mm -hmm. Are the roads okay? And we're packing up the rig and getting ready to go. Well, that's the exciting thing too, is that we're not doing this alone. No. And you guys know that John and I, I mean, we do some pretty genius things every now and then, but um, we've also done some dumb things, so don't worry. It's not just us working on this. <laughs> we have um, an attorney, RV Odd Squad member, solid person, uh, 36 years experience as an attorney that's, that's really guiding us through this. Um, obviously, we have a realtor, et cetera, but we also have some, some business leaders. We have a lot of connections within the RV industry, people that look at us young bucks and they give us some advice. Yeah, we're looking at escrow companies, we're yeah. looking at title companies, how are we Third gonna do party, this? Yeah. yeah, and so we're looking for partners. I think there's different levels of interest. There's some people that, you know, they have some time available and they'd like to help, but then there's other people that really want ownership and they really want decision-making abilities. They, they wanna like steer the ship. And so what we're doing is we're trying to organize everybody that's interested into three categories. People that just want a site, <laughs> like their own site. People that want to be like owners, you know, like, like steer the ship. And then people that say, you know, maybe I can't buy land at this moment, but I'd really like to, you know, donate my time and, and see how I can contribute in other ways with my talents or my time. Yeah, we are trusting that God's gonna let this thing lay out exactly the way it's supposed to go. We're gonna go and bust our butts, do as much work as we possibly can, and we're gonna leave the rest to God, guys. The most important part to us is that the board, whoever comes in and joins and becomes our partners, are gonna help us decide how this thing is gonna function, what yeah. the rules are. There's gonna be rules, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They ended up being 20, 20, 22 families that actually came in to help us get this thing going. They were all, all viewers, people that we had never met before. Yeah. Um, from this video, this video got 200,000 views. And you know we're doing emails as we're going across the country. Mm -hmm. My voice is so gone because I'm on the phone constantly seeing who was interested in trying to learn you know, who might be able to help and, and, and whatnot. And, uh, go ahead. yeah, but the people, okay. So here's looking back, um, navigating people can be really awesome and it can also be very challenging Yes, people. And there are some people that have 
uh, we've gotten to know really well within the last three years that are still right here really active and uh, people that we run things by that we really trust. Um, and then there's people that maybe their vision was different than what our vision was. Their vision was for themselves. Yeah. Because half the people that come here want something. They want us to sell something. They want us to feature their product. They, yeah, <laughs> they got the ul ulterior motive. It, it just takes time to learn people and to learn what people's talents are and to learn what you can. The you blessing know, was the people. The curse was the people. It's, it's a lot to navigate. The bottom line is, is that we had a vision. I really, truly believe God gave this to us as a gift to be the stewards of this land, mm -hmm. to build a community that would be passed on to our children and our grandchildren. And so on. this is never about money. It's about legacy. It was about legacy. We made it very clear back then that that's what this was going to be. Mm -hmm. And God sent us the right people at the right time. 22 owners bought into Thunder Canyon Campground. We couldn't have done it without them. Oh, yeah. And we built a membership now that is second to none. Yeah. And now we're at a place where people are coming to live here full time to build the community that Mercedes and I talked about and craved, mm -hmm. knowing who your neighbors are, knowing, you know, the, uh, helping each other and growing stuff and, and becoming a true, true community. Yeah. No, I, I agree completely. And that's the thing that we've, um, we've gotten to filter out the people and the people that are here are just it's that was been, probably the most stressful part yes was filtering out who wanted something and who actually truly and it was it was pretty easy the ones that will, who come to give they're easy i mean they know right away they jump in we never would have made it through this whole thing without our founders mm -hmm. our founders with lifeblood to keep this going because youtube stopped paying us he talked too much i talked too much about god and politics and so youtube got, we got slammed our 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 advertising dollars dropped by 90 percent when we found thunder canyon guys yeah and so our founders were the ones who carried us through that's why we didn't have to do a lot of uh, uh, uh product videos or yeah. sponsorship widgets and widgets we came yeah. to a turning point you know well we we could have really made a ton of money doing this we chose community mm -hmm. over that money we chose safety we chose a place a safe place that we yeah. could build a community that would love God, family, and country. That's and right. that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Just common sense with principles. And it's, it's, so, I'm so excited about this so that our viewers can have a safe spot. Right. And so it's called Thunder Canyon. Mercedes and I want to make it Thunder Canyon Camp Gratitude. Right. And that's kind of what we'd like to do because we're so grateful for the mm -hmm. lives that we've been blessed with. The mm -hmm. The people who uh, come and visit here call it Thunder Canyon. Those who love it here and have been here multiple times call it Camp Gratitude. Camp Gratitude. It's an inside. I yeah. really am afraid that a lot of new RVers are going to come in and hate the lifestyle because they're going to buy this, you know, 60, 70, 80,000, two, three, four hundred thousand dollar rig and they're not going to be able to go out and use it. We can't get any Yellowstone. We can't get any Utah right now. Goodbye, BLM land. It's, it's slowly, yeah. surely leaving. And they're already starting to close BLM, BLM land and they're making excuses as to why they're closing it. And you can't camp out a bunch of Cabela's anymore. I mean, things are getting really, really tricky. And, yeah, and RVing and and the Boy Scouts and masculinity, it's all dying. It's and all dying. We just want to bring it back. We just want to save at least some <laughs> institutions or create new ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and have a positive effect on um, America and hopefully get more of us together that believe the same way. And then if we can make this campground work, actually work really well and profitable, mm -hmm. maybe we can leverage that and start opening other campgrounds around mm -hmm. the country with the same types of principles. Now, I'm, I'm stopping it right here because. You asked us just six months ago, Mercedes and I would say, we never want to do this again. It, <laughs> it, as, as wonderful it has turned out, right? The, the golden egg is starting to shine. Our members love it here. We love it here. We love everything that we're building here. But the truth is, is that it's been an incredible amount of work. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I've lost almost, I lost 90 pounds at the top of this thing. Um, Mercedes has gained a little weight, right? Like two. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And, and so it, it, it was a lot of stress, a lot of things, a lot of moving parts behind the scenes that we could never even share with you guys. Yeah. But it has worked out. And now we're at a place where my wife. I come up with these big ideas and my wife is the person that manages all of that, that that organizes all that onto paper, onto bite-sized pieces that will get us. So she's she builds the roadmaps, right? I come up with these big ideas and she builds the roadmap. He's the destination guy. Yeah. I'm I'm the I'm the directions. She's the directions. And so what we're, what we're at now is we've actually got a pretty good model and we can possibly maybe next year we're considering it. <laughs> 
looking at another campground because the biggest complaint people have RV Hot Squad members all over the country, and they've come to visit us from all over the country and Canada. Biggest complaint is, is we're too far away. We got a lot of members out in the West Coast. We got mm-hmm. a lot of members up in Canada. We got a lot of members down in Texas. Typically, the people that become members here right now are within a thousand miles of a drive. Mm-hmm. But if we can take what we've uh, created here, what God has helped us create here, mm-hmm. and multiply that into other locations around the country, we think we could be onto something really, really big. I think people crave this because it's people there's something about community. well, there's something about the values, and then there's something about the whole not being alone because the world is crazy. I think that um, like a vetted campground, you mm-hmm. know, it's like we filtered it out because if if your political opinions offend you, you. <laughs> yeah, when we first that opened this place, out. everybody was welcome. And now you've got to do a background check. You got to do a credit check. And these are all things that you have to go through to be to be here long term. To be here long term. Not for the weekend, but not yeah, for the long, weekend. Anybody can come. Yep. If you're, you're, you're going to gonna come here and live you. here with our kids and our family, we're going to vet you. We're going to mm-hmm. run a background check. We're going to run credit checks. We're going to mm-hmm. check you out, make sure. And more importantly, we're going to make you become an owner. You have to bring some skin to the game. So yeah. all the people that live in here at Thunder Canyon, we're all invested. We're all invested and have our part owners of thunder canyon yeah it's good stuff it's really good stuff but we're open-minded to whatever the, god's will is in this whole thing so mm-hmm. we'll take whatever we can get we've got 10 days to do our due diligence yeah and what's funny is this is really all my fault because when i started noticing that john was like obsessing and like staying up late at night you'd think he was doing something nefarious he's like looking at properties online right yeah, and, and the boy like, scout oh yeah, okay, i know no. what it's are like, the principles of this thing gonna be his search history is well there's an rv odd squad member yeah exactly <laughs> but but the point being is like i saw him obsessing and i know like when i see him like that it's like okay we're gonna get a curveball in life today, okay? All the plans, Buckle up. all the plans that I had for like what Q3 and Q4 of 2021 <laughs> look like, they're all going out the window. Just go along for the ride. But I'm actually excited about this. I actually see the viability in it. There's several cabins there. There's mm-hmm. actually an old restaurant there. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a swimming pool, and if you look at the photo, because of this video, other people came, offered more money than we had, but. She, she had integrity. Had a, she had an offer for double. For double. And Miss Kitty just said, I like John and Mercedes. I like what they're trying to do here. I like their vision. She understood what was we were trying to do. For it was her. legacy. She raised all five of her kids here. Yeah. It's a special place to her. Yeah. She wanted it to go. She cared more about it going into the right hands than going into than the, the money. most profitable yeah. hands. Yeah. She, she, she just, she, and again, what's funny is, is when we got this place running, Miss Kitty came and visited us twice. She was yeah, in a wheelchair. She came, she came yeah. Just to see Mercedes at stage. She, not, she I, don't, was, I don't know what she thought about me. But she thought I was a Yankee. So, well, but she forgave you for that. <laughs> <laughs> she looked beyond that and saw that you were trying to recover and trying to learn the good old ways of the South. Yeah. So she, but she appreciated it. We have that. no interest in selling. Selling this, we've been yeah. we've been offered double for it multiple times. We have no interest in selling. We're building community here. Mm-hmm. Our country's falling apart, and we believe that community is what it's what's going to get us all through this. So That's we right. we look for members that want to come and believe in God, family, country. Mm-hmm. How cool would it be to actually have a training center for our beers because of those cabins that we have there? I drive Mercedes crazy, right? But how cool if we could have the RV Odd Squad proving grounds, right? Training, newbie training People grounds. People could fly in a chat. New- oh, God, here I go. This was bad, guys. This was bad. Mr. Idea, Mr. This, Idea. This was the worst part of your vision. Do you know how John? many hundreds of people we've had come here for the very first time and expect to get training when they got here? By John. They expect him to dump their tanks, <laughs> to park their vehicle. They have no cords, no lines for sewage. They're missing everything. They came here to learn because of this stupid part. And it was it's a vision that we're not giving up on. Maybe one day. How cool would it be? But to have take a place. personal responsibility, take responsibility. And buy a surge protector, people. We, we've got hundreds of videos out there. Yeah. Learn from our videos. Don't come here and expect that we're going to drop everything we're doing to teach you how to RV. Come on, Jan. You tell me you were going to teach me. Park my <laughs> RV for me. No, we've had people that really come in and expect that. And every now and then he'll give in, like he'll see a lady. Oh, I always help and, where I can, but we're but pretty busy, guys. No, it's just this is the part where I think people misunderstood our vision a little bit <laughs> because we were trying to help newbies because we felt like we didn't get support when we were newbies but we never said we're going to do everything for you as a newbie <laughs> that was the big difference pick them up at the airport they can stay in a cabin and we can train a handful of people on how they're expecting you to pick them up and-
Oh, okay. 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 An RV. Okay. We can have different types of RVs there. We can actually build a track that, you know, where they can drive around and learn how to drive a fifth wheel or a class A. <laughs> RV, well, okay. I don't know how he teaches people to drive RVs. <laughs> so it would be an RV boot camp and it'd be like, pick up that dog poop. Drive, stop, go fast, slow, fast. But the funniest thing is, is I brought these ideas up to Mercedes. She actually liked it. You guys know bit. we do a Just newbie a class bit. once a month. Yeah, could you imagine doing you know? it out there? And that's getting around 15, 16,000 views per month of yeah. newbie RVers that are coming Just in. Just taking and, notes. Yeah, and we can teach about integrity. We can teach about the etiquette of campground. There's no RV school. We can, t we can help people learn how to buy before they make the big mistakes that a lot of RVers make. We can teach you what not to do. We can It'll teach be great. you what not to do. Just watch our videos. <laughs> you learn what not to do so we are so blessed this is incredible I'm and the luckiest man on the planet and this is scary guys this is a little bit scary but you know what if it don't scare you a little bit you ain't thinking big hmm. enough my god that was wild okay wow. so one of the things that was most stressful about that trip was that we were getting to talk to some people and we realized, wow, people are hard. <laughs> oh man, 7,000 emails from that video, guys, in three days, the first three we days. We need a way to vet people. It took us five days to get from Colorado to Idaho and it should have mm -hmm. taken two. We were burnt out, we were yeah. tired. That was the beginning. Mm -hmm. That was the very beginning of burnout for us. And <laughs> we have poured our hearts, our minds, our mm -hmm. souls into building a campground that we want people to come to, right? Yeah. People that are members to be people that believe in God, family, country. And what we built here isn't really anything that we've done. It's we like get too much guys, credit for this. Yeah. It's the whole RV odd squad that did this. Mm -hmm. We don't have any paid employees. Nobody gets paid here. Everyone is volunteer. Everybody is volunteer. We run this campground together. If you're a member, you're pitching in. We help each other with just about everything. And so far, it's finally starting to work. We're doing long-term leases now for people that want a homestead in an RV with their own little property, it's and it's working stuff. out amazing. We've got 12 full-time families coming in here to live with us, and we still have a beautiful, beautiful, low-premium part of the campground mm -hmm. that is the best camping that you've ever been to in your life. So come on out and visit us. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Guys, <laughs> I want to hear what you guys have to say. Please put it in the comments. We're blessed beyond belief, and uh, we're super excited to what for what God has planned next. We love you guys. See you in we'll the next, see you in the next video. video.